so okay, so you had mentioned the county fair. Yeah. Describe the county fair. Yes. Our county fair. Our Racine county. county fair. <laughs> Racine County Fair. Uh, so Racine County Fair, it's actually a pretty large fair in the area. Um, it's in Union Grove. And um, essentially, it was started in Burling. I want to say the first fair was in Burlington. And then um, it was to showcase agriculture. And then they moved it to Union Grove. And that's kind of where it has stayed. And they've built buildings. And youth, um, it's where youth and actually adults can show too. Um, the youth show through youth organizations like 4-H, FFA, um, Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, and they can bring pretty much any project under the, anything under the sun that they can make um, mm -hmm. or, or that they can raise. So I've known people to show cattle, but I also know people who've shown their cats um, and they get to exhibit that. And then we also have the open class, which is for adults to be able to showcase some of their things they're going, but it really is a community focused event. So you, um, there's entertainment there um, between bands and a demo derby, and there's also things for kids, so it's more family-friendly, um, where there's amusement rides and also yeah. petting zoos. And also, Don't forget the tractor pull. Oh, the tractor pull, yes. The tractor pull is a big one. It brings in a lot of people. Yeah. And then we also, I always, um, there's a, different days every day. There's a different theme and things that people yeah. come in for, and... It's a nice community event, honestly, and it's a nice family-oriented community event so that you can bring their kids there yeah. and not feel not feel scared or anything. Yeah, as you've gotten older, have you have you been going to the county fair yearly as mm -hmm. well? Same. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I I am a diehard county fair goer. So. <laughs> well, did you ever run for like a uh, county fair? The Queen fairest or, of the fair. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, I was the fairest of fair 2016. 2016. <laughs> yes, that was a big deal. Um, and what happens when you're the fairest of the fair? You're so as the fairest of the fair, you're essentially the ambassador for the county fair. Okay. Um, so you get to go out. Uh, well, the five days of the fair, you're there talking about all the things happening during the fair and encouraging people to really get involved with that. And then the rest of the year, you're going out and inviting people to the fair. Um, you also get to run for state fairest which is up um, okay. in the Dells the first week of January. They hold for all county fairs to come in. So, like, I think there's, like, 38 county fairists, and they all come, yeah. and you compete against each other for the title of the state fairist. Okay. And if you're the state fairist, you get to then be the official ambassador of the Wisconsin State Fair. So then does that the fairest of the fair go on and compete or No, it, with... it doesn't go any further than that. <laughs> That's the top of the top. <laughs> Wisconsin State Fair. Wisconsin the State Fair. Yeah, and it's it's the nice thing is it's not a beauty pageant by any means. Yeah. There's a lot of things that go into it, like professionalism and um, just personality-wise. How can you talk to people? Are you good at that? Um, so it's kind of fun to watch. But huh. thankfully, there's no talent involved because I would have definitely not made it past <laughs> <laughs> any further. <laughs> yeah. But. They give out scholarships and things too, which is awesome for okay. anyone who competes and who wins. I think it's like a fifteen hundred dollars scholarship for the winner. And oh, nice! Yeah, so there's some perks to it. But. Yeah, the fair, rural, rural America. It's such a big because it's not just our county fair, but there's mm -hmm. fairs all over the state, but all over the country. country. It's definitely this uh, Americana event. Mm -hmm you know, that happens every year around the country. And it's the same kind of stuff, I want to say. Yeah, and it's yeah. kind of neat because they actually, it's the county fairs are essentially happening all year round, depending on where you're at. Because um, I've been down to county fairs, and that was in like February, was the Osceola County Fair down in Florida. And they had all the things really? going on. Yep, so it's just depending on where you're at, there can be different so what was that like? It was actually very similar to ours, I have to say. Really? <laughs> yeah. Down in Florida. Down in Florida. And it's and the Osceola County is it's either the same county as Disney or it's so the like county Orlando? over. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So um there was a lot of people that were like, Well, this is you know, we don't have agriculture, but there were kids from all over showing, um, exhibiting livestock. Um the same kind of livestock? Or do they got like gators and flamingos and stuff? <laughs> no, the too? Same, same kind. I would have loved to see gators or something. I think that would be neat, but I didn't see any. But yeah, they had barns just like ours filled with livestock. Really? Um, the pigs, cattle, chickens, all wow. that. And then they uh 
they also had the non-animal projects and that's the kind of the neat thing that you get to participate in even if you're not on a farm with livestock yeah. is that you can take quilting or you can do photography and they had plenty of that the one thing they did have that we didn't have was a rodeo they were very heavy in their rodeo mm. and very excited oh, yeah. about it <laughs> in florida in florida Flo yeah oh, man florida is an interesting <laughs> Place. It was very interesting. There's such a, like an <laughs> outlier. I feel like yeah, it's, uh, something I would want to do in my lifetime is go to the Texas State Fair. With the State Fair of Texas, that one, like yeah. in Dallas. I don't know. I feel like it's in um, northern Texas, okay. maybe. Because they've got a like... couple state fairs. Like they're they're a weird state. What's what's the one where they? Um, that's another outlier for sure. More of an outlier in Florida. <laughs> uh, the one where it's like the weekend they play Oklahoma in college uh, football. It's like the Red River rivalry. And that's kind of like the, the capstone of the I, state fair in a way. I'd have to do more research on that. But that's interesting. Yeah. Texas seems like it would have a huge state fair. They Well, they have like three pretty much. I mean, they've got... Wow. And they're not necessarily all called state fairs. Like, there's a state fair, Texas, and then they've got Fort Worth, Stockyard. Like, that's a whole okay. other show of sorts. And then, so they've just got all these, like, all over, <laughs> depending on where you want to yeah. go. And it's kind of neat because it, it does, they, since they are such a huge state, it does provide those kids to be able to go whichever one is closest to them versus, yeah, like, Wisconsin state, yeah. has just their one, and that's the, yeah. that's the state fair. Um Texas huh. has a couple. I imagine, yeah, they definitely have rodeos. Yes. Those, rodeos you'll see it on like obscure sports, like uh, on like off hours of ESPN, they'll have rodeos. Mm -hmm. I think Houston is a big rodeo place. Yes, Houston is. The Houston, well, they've got the Houston Livestock and Rodeo. I, that's, I think, what it's called. Yeah. Um, but I always think rodeos are neat. And I, some of the athletes that are in there, I follow them on Facebook and things, and they're just so down to earth. And the like, rodeo? Yeah, in rodeo. Interesting. Yeah, <laughs> and you read their things, and you're just like, wow, like your perspective on things is awesome for you being like, you're making lots and lots of money off of a sport, but you would never guess that they were. That's a dangerous sport. It is a dangerous they, sport. They're making some pretty decent money then? I think so, from my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> decent money compared to me, I would say. <laughs> But huh. they, uh, I always watched the barrel racers was, I guess that's a little bit of a safer sport. Than, What's the barrel racers? Uh, so barrel racing is where there's three, essentially three barrels and you can do a clover pattern with a horse. It's very popular among women typically. Um, so you, you run the course and you go as fast as you can around the barrels. So you're horse racing? Ish. You're on a horse. Okay. But it's only you. Like, you're not in the ring with anyone else. Okay. And you're So it's timed? Timed. It's, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then you run the course and you come back and huh. it's, it's wild. Interesting. <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit safe. It's still not the safest thing because you, you have a live animal that you're dealing right. with. But it seems safer than, like, the PBR. Than, like, riding, bull riding. a, a bull? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, gee, I don't you know. You got a little bit <laughs> <of> each other. <laughs> I wonder why. 